City of Austin about to hold one of its biggest money makers, South by Southwest. Hello, I'm Leslie Rohde. I'm Robert Hadlock. During this 10-day festival, many Austinites rent out their homes to make some extra cash. But a recent city council decision has some people thinking twice. A decision to put up an online map of those homes being rented out? Well, they fear it could be an invitation for burglars. KXAN's Casey James has this story all new at 9. South by Southwest is approaching fast, bringing hundreds of thousands of people to our city from all over. And all those people need a place to stay. The hotel accommodations are, are so few and far between. Uh, you know, we have over 250,000 people that come to Austin for South by Southwest. Short term rentals have boomed due to the demand for rooms during big events and really just all year round. Lack of residential homes available for sale, which is, is forcing a lot of these people that are relocating here to need temporary housing until they find something that they actually will purchase. Currently, there are between three to 400 short-term rentals in the Austin area. That's why the city council passed a resolution that would spread the word about those rentals in one way as a map. A map that would show anyone online where each rental home is. Some believe burglars would appreciate the list, knowing the home may not be occupied, and full of electronics and goods. We share the same trepidation that APD shares. Uh, we think that you're opening up a lot of opportunity for crime when you list out STRs to the public like that. The map has not been posted yet. Instead, homeowners and other organizations are teaming together to figure out another way they can advertise those homes without putting anyone at risk. Now, the most popular STR owners are young career individuals who work out of town often. Travelers who solely depend on the money earned from renting to pay for their traveling and those who only rent out a few days a year for big events like South by, South by Southwest. Leslie, Robert. Thanks, Casey. Well, those houses are residential units rented for periods of 30 days or less are considered a short-term rental and must obtain a license. Other requirements include inspection, staying current on hotel occupancy taxes, and paying a fee for notifications to adjacent property owners. If you have any questions, call 311.